So just to briefly recap, if you want to get the greatest growth hormone increases, do sauna or other deliberate heat exposure fairly seldom. Probably no more than once per week, maybe even less. And do it a lot that day. Just make sure that you break it up into multiple sessions. In the study I described earlier, they did four sessions, 30 minutes each. But that was just once a week. If you're interested in the cardiovascular benefits and the potential longevity benefits of sauna, well, then it's clear that doing it three to four, maybe even seven times per week is going to be more beneficial than doing it just one or three times per week. It stands to reason that for those of you interested in the general health effects of sauna, about an hour per week broken up into three sessions makes the most sense based on my read of the data. And again, that range of 80 to 100 degrees Celsius is going to be your guide. And in terms of the mental health benefits, it seems that getting a little bit uncomfortable in that heat environment, sauna or otherwise, provided it's safe, is going to be the best way to access those mental health effects by way of increasing dynorphin, which as you recall, will then increase the ability of endorphin to have its positive effects on mood after you get out of the sauna or other deliberate heat exposure.